Howdy folks, how are you today? Uh, I'm going to change out this latch, dual latch rotary lock assembly that uh, is jacked up on the blue truck because, well, I can't do anything without it because that door slings open, like I said previously in another video. But uh, oddly enough, if you follow me, I finally got these chicken lights I had ordered like two months ago when I got two things of them. They finally came in, and I was surprised because I had, it's been over a month since we'd ordered them. Maybe two close to it. I don't know. But I uh, ended up getting those yellow ones in that I put on the blue truck. I was talking about those chicken lights. I did the video. Yellow ones there. Uh, finally got these ones in. And I got two boxes of them. And they're slicker and slick. But uh, I'm not sure if I'll swap those out or not, but... Those things talk about irritating. I waited, I don't know how long for those. Where's my beer at? It's Miller time. Oh, uh, it's been Miller time. I'll tell you that much right now. I gotta get this latch open here. Just wanted to show you the package here. This thing cost me about 111 bucks with tax because uh, that's what that is. And uh, get that thing open. Here, I'm gonna put you right here. I'm gonna stick it right here like this. Hopefully we ain't jerking you around too much because, well, you don't like to be jerked around, but whatever. Rip this open. It's basically just four screws that hold this thing in. And then there is a little thing in here, I don't know if you can see, that hooks to a lever, which we'll go over to the truck and I'll show you, that basically when you open the handle, that thing unlocks these. I'll take a screwdriver real quick and do that. See how that popped open there? Fantastic, huh? So that's what's going on with that door. It's all jacked up, but I've got, um, let's see, I don't need to keep that because I just bought one a couple years ago, like I said before, and they end up having, you know, getting a one for me so i could have it because well i needed it apparently because the shit wasn't working so let's go out to the blue chuck real quick i'm all hill jacked up still duck dynasty because i was out mushroom hunting earlier and then i cut the grass and i just haven't changed my outfit yet or showered or done anything because well it's getting dirty so speaking of dirty that's gonna need a bath here sometime soon it's supposed to rain tomorrow so probably won't mess with that but uh, i'll see if i can get you hooked up here because that thing just barely shuts and slides right open which sucks and pisses me off but it is what it is so hold on a second here okay there we go looks like you are right there i like that picture so let's pop these out real quick and see if we can get this thing in there so we don't have no issues when we are driving down the road This is a problem that you don't want to have in your truck. So like I said, door slams around causing damage and shit, and uh, we don't like that. And boy, that thing was about annoying and pissing me off. Just straight pissing me off when that would slam. Every time that would slam, that just pissed me off. And you don't want that. You'd be getting mad while you're trying to work. It's never fun. Dealing with stuff like this. So basically that latch goes into here and that goes up and down every time you hit the handle. So you slap that in there. And I'll shut that real quick here once I get these all in here, bolted in and stuff or screwed in. That one's good, nice and tight. Taut, nice and taut. And then we'll shut the door and see if she does her job like she's supposed to. Because, well, that's what it's supposed to do. So that's that. See, that's quick. Easy fix. Four screws. $115 later. Let's see if we can shut the door. Let's see your angle here. No, well, your angle's good. Let's crank it over just a skosh. Oh, look at that. She's tighter than tight. I showed a video earlier where she was super loose and jacking around, but 
everything's good now so that is what i'm talking about uh we can work her now we're scheduled for tomorrow anyways well at least the girls said they got some loads for me and we'll see when uh i get up in the morning should get something i think it's kosher in there i believe do anything but that's what uh that's what made me not want to work on tuesday so i didn't want to deal with that because that was slamming right there on that causing some damage right there see that right there right there get your eyes in there and right there i didn't like that so now we've got uh the door that just shuts the way it's supposed to and oh see how that gap is right there that's what that does to me it's open she ain't closing anytime i see that gap i know i've got an issue oh, she still ain't there we go now she closed like she's supposed to so that is what i'm looking for when i do this and this door is old because well it's a 1983 and that's what happens when you're 38 years old 38 years old this truck is 38 years old it is uh i'm 40 i'm gonna be 41 so it's old that's for sure nothing's plugged in nothing's going that's fantastic because we don't we don't want our lights on and shit cause any problems so that's now we know we're good with this and we can run tomorrow get you cranked up here so that was the quickest 115 dollar fix i would ever done but i'll keep this because you never know what's going to happen i uh, doubt i'll ever use it but i always keep shit like this around just in case need to uh adjust this thing right here i don't know run with it tomorrow and see what happens oh, she is just still doing that shit what the fuck is going on pardon the french oh see that's locking down there like that click that open whatever it's what it is tell you that much right now because i'm not going to deal with it i don't even care it's up in there it's tight now i'll be dipped worked one time but now she don't want to work but i know how to shut it when i need to shut it so i'll wait until i need to shut it because i'm not running until tomorrow morning Whenever I get my loads and feel like it. I can tell you that much right now. Whenever I feel like it. Benefits of being an owner operator, folks. Do whatever you want. When you want. And that's what you do. So I guess until the next time we mess with blue truck. Because, well. We mess with it all the time. Maybe we'll change those chicken lights out to those ones. Because I kind of like those. The way that chrome looks. Not that amber on there, but they'll shine bright. I guarantee that. We will. Uh, well, just took care of that old latch. The old latch later fixed up uh, on the old truck here. She tight now. She is not moving. I can tell you that much right now. Solid as a rock. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. Oh no, she's not gonna open now. We're fucked. You're screwed. Well, never mind, folks. I've got the old latch later fixed. I had to go inside the door, take the panel off, unscrew some other things on the inside panel because there's more than one panel on here, and uh, fabricate the things because this right here, for this guy, there's a rod that comes up from right here. It goes up to there. One connects from over here to over here to unlatch this right here. So 
that is what I had to do. I had to fabricate a little bit of stuff inside of here. Take this panel off. There's another panel on the inside there. And now oh, she's fine. She's snug as a rug. BS, old lady ain't happy because I told her I'd be in a little bit to take care of her and cook some food, but I had to take care of this first, make sure she wasn't slamming around on me. So that's what I'm talking about. Always gotta be something. If it ain't one thing, it's another, that's for sure. Old trucks, old problems. So till the next time we're working on old baby, Betty, beauty, we'll see ya.